Come on, B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. What a good pass. Oh. Help him! Right, Mikey. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. New sign in here at uh, Wellington College. Record signing. Um, record signing, record time. <laughs> GB. Great performance today, mate. How did you go? Yeah, yeah, big 60 minutes. A bit of a, I'd say, game of two halves, and we, we smoked them in the first, and then um, second half, it just became a bit of a lottery who was going to score. Um, both, you know, I managed to miss a free header from like two metres out. Unbelievable. And then um, Greg continues to miss the open goal. I think Shawnee missed an open goal as well. Yes. And then um, they scored a tinny one at the end, but great great day for Loco, wasn't it? A lot of conversations about a lot of misses for Greg Brown. We'll go back to the studio for that. <laughs> Thanks for that, Dan. A uh, couple of uh, good games today. Um, kind of a war of the roses, if you ask me. Um, you know, it's a good win for Loco today. Um, unfortunate loss for um, Dynamo. Um, but I say after, was it four straight wins uh, they carry on, I think? Three in a draw. Three in a draw, yeah. Three in a draw. Uh, yeah, it's, um, I'd say probably two for one, but I mean, it was a hard four, I think. <laughs> Um, so not totally disappointed. I think I'm on my front that um, that we lost. We fought well for that. Um, you know, it's a tough game. Tough game um, against uh, quite a good side. Uh, so win for you there, Jimmy. Uh, seven one, I think, in the end. Seven one. Yeah. Seven one. Could have been twelve. Could have been sixteen. Not quite so sure. Disappointing factor with the uh, conceding a goal. We had a bye last week, and I thought, yeah. blessing, curse, but not quite so sure. Uh, but the boys turned up, had to do a little bit of wheeling and dealing in the transfer market through the week. Uh, some, abs some absences, a few injuries to some of our normal starting 11. Uh, spoke to Tony, said it's a transfer window open. And uh, WSFL said, yeah, transfer window's open. Managed to get a few players in, and then made a good signing just before the buy as well. Ended up actually being man of the match today, Ronald Benio. So you, uh, I know you mentioned him uh, last week in the uh, in the interviews. Uh, in the first game today. How do you think he performed? We give him a start today. Thought he had a good game. Uh, went down a little bit easier than a tight hooker at times, <laughs> but got himself on the score sheet. And unfortunately, he just jarred his knee, so he had to go off injured. But I'd just like to pass over to uh, Bean and just give us your thoughts. I thought you played today, and what's like coming into a superior setup to where you were before, and what it's like just being with the uh, local and ESA, ESKA so, lads. Cheers, Jimmy. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, mate. Pleasure. What, what wine are you drinking, by the way? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. Actually, this is a bungalow rouge from, from Bradford. Oh, just just growing outside Bradford, vineyards and shit. That's enough. It's all right. <laughs> We'll get back to that. <laughs> so I thought we had a, a good game today. It was a bit strange. Um, obviously, really happy to be here. Great setup, great bunch of lads. Um, yeah, top gaffer. He whistled that. He said that. Um, no, yeah, it was a bit, a bit of a strange one. We, we missed a few chances. We, we could have nailed them about fucking 16 0, like you said. But, um, we got the win, we, we got the result at the end of the day, that's all that matters. 
Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Ronald Bino got a goal, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Say, so, there's uh, magic on the ball at some times there, mate. A um, couple of good chances that went amiss. Um, as you say, we, you know, we could have could have got that score up a bit. Um, but you know, a win's a win. So that's, that's what we want. Um, see, see, what, see what next week holds. Uh, the lazy 11s, I think. Um, some of the old rivals as well, Jimmy. So I think we'll. Uh, yeah, uh, as far as I understand, it's lazy 11 next week. An old four. Decent team decided to drop down a league this year, which I think is a bad decision on their part because they are a good yeah, team. So I'm going to try and go on. We're looking forward to it. Uh, Never an easy game in uh, WSFL. Yeah, so, so some incidents last year was um, uh, Carl Wallace going off the uh, injured elbow, which stopped the game quite um, quite suddenly there for us last season. Um, so I think it'd be good for us to get back um, get back to it, um, meet them again in this season, and see how we perform. Well, if I'm honest about that, Andy, I thought we were a little bit selfish of Cal just to lie down on pitch after breaking his elbow. We were we were three or four up, and then he just milks it in the box for half an hour, just gets the game called. Uh, Sorry guys, news just in. Always there. Top news, uh, Sunday Live, uh, North Wellington just beat Tuscan Raiders 7-0. Max, throw the towel. There we have it from uh, Greg Brown, thank you for that. 7-0. Uh, uh, it's a good result for them. <laughs> Let's go fucking mental! Let's go fucking mental! Na, 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 na. <laughs> Seven nil. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. That's uh, so no problem, Jimmy. It's uh, always nice when we get a, a result in our favour. Uh, so over to uh, Kieran and uh, ESK uh, Dynamo. Um, Fortunately, lost today, but I think um, did, pretty, did pretty well uh, considering. Yeah, we knew we were um, up against a tough fold today. Um, a lot of good players in their team. So the game plan was basically um, sit deep, lock the door, put wooden toil, as some might say. Um, put wooden toil. Put wooden toil. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, try to catch them on the break, aim for a bit of pace, give ourselves that extra couple of yards to deal with their pace up front. Definitely, yeah. It didn't quite work out that way. As I said, they've got a lot of, a lot of good players, good, good strong team. Um, a lot of pace up front, I think. For them a lot of pace up front, they have that magic. Yeah. You know, they were like, it was like watching a game of Quidditch sometimes with those lads. Um, but you know, um, also I just also like to take this opportunity to welcome Bean to the club. Um, we're almost like a school of magic, almost like Hogwarts over here, mate. Um, so you're gonna get in there. You got the scar on your head as well, mate. So you've got that Harry Potter. <laughs> good thing, well, good little, thing you were raised yeah, underneath little. a staircase, mate. Um, <laughs> like all the greats. Um, but yeah, no, we had a tough day today. Uh, there's a lot that the lads can walk away with and hold their heads up high. Um, go into the next game of confidence because we were up against a strong opposition today. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, so. The lads played really well today. You know, it was, it was hard fought. They, you know. battled, they, they battled. They, they battled hard. Um, yeah. Um, and thank God we had a, a little bit of magic over here with old Paddy. Um, he held it up top, Wingardium Leviosa, some might say. Um, some might say, yeah. Um, some might say Leviosa. <laughs> but, uh, you know, yeah, caught, caught a few of those long balls, which is nice. Sure. Yeah, but um, Mr. I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just happy that we have, have someone with such uh, tenacity and commitment. Um, and it's real strong energy, like like Paddy. Um, he's going to come in and grab a body scruff the neck and get stuck in the very last minute. Uh, so, yeah, Paddy, congratulations on your on your mind. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a disappointing game today. It's, it's a bit, bit a bit of a grudge match from that slithering snake from uh, Tim, who left our team. The genie. But um, yeah, the, you might say the proof was in the Yorkshire button, and you know it was. They were the better team, and they won today. But we, we fought well, and we did well. We're lucky to come away with every result. Was it was? Was it was? Yeah, so definitely um, well played today, Paddy. Uh, a lot of good pace, and especially the last couple of games. You know, you're always, you're always up there looking for those long balls, and you know, you've definitely got the, the pace on those defenders. You know, pushing onto them. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so it's unfortunate loss today, but um, you know, well fought for the team, I think, and well deserved uh, man of the match. Um, Thank you very much. Yeah, I say, uh, I noticed a lot of lads around here is drinking beer. That's uh, Jimmy still on his wine. Yeah. Um, oh, glad. Any more comments on that, uh, Jimmy? Oh, glad you asked. I'd like to touch on this uh, Bungalow Rouge. I just got to plug a few sponsors before we finish. The first one is uh, Bungalow Rouge, just growing outside of Bradford. Similar climate to uh, Central Otago, hot, hot days, cold nights. And if I just take this in, 
a whiff of wet whippet, and then on the palate, magic. It lingers like uh, mushy peat with a hint of mint. And the second sponsor I'd like to uh, bring in today, Duffy and I are having a little bit of a brogmance. So if you're looking for some new shoes, get down to Dave's store. $16.99 a pair. <laughs> Say you know us, and you get 10% discount. Made of the finest plastic. Yeah, made of the finest leather, I think it's called. Leather. Yeah, leather. Um, leather. probably good for two or three ways. <laughs> you better not. And that's all it is for sponsors. If you want a bottle of uh, Bungalow Rouge, come and see me. And if you want a pair of uh, some brogues, gaffer shoes, I believe they're called. Um, code is G-A-F-F-O-O-1. And then you get 10% discount just through Loco and ESKA. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, say th thanks to our sponsors as well. Uh, we have the old uh, uh, Pinder uh, vodka orange there as well. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Good boy. Good game. Good game. Good game. Seven mil. <laughs> Are you joking? You beat them? No. Seven you beat them seven, seven, seven nil. You beat them seven nil?